So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand, have your arms next to your body, being relaxed, and you're gonna lift up your arms like that. And you can see my fingers are already making this shape right there. From the side, I hope you can see it. This is basically the shape kind of that your hands are going to be naturally. So now with the drumstick again, you have your hand like this. Your fingers are going to have the shape. You put your drumstick like that. Now one thing that you're going to do is that your first two fingers are going to be on both sides of the drumstick like this. So I hope you can see it, this is basically how it's going to be, here again, I hope you can see it, so that's how you're going to hold the drumstick. Now once you are behind your drum kit or practice that, you do the same thing, lift up your arm, grab your stick and then just lightly hold it like that, do it with both hands, that's how you are holding the drumstick. Now, why is it so important that you hold your drumstick this way as a beginner and you don't start out with doing something like this or like that or whatever you see drummers doing is once you get started with drumming and you are practicing, you want both hands to move the same way. You don't want to be focused on this hand making this motion, that hand making that motion. You just Want it to be same, same moving, movement, so you can check out and learn from both hands. You can look at your right hand and be like, hmm, what am I doing differently that those two notes sound better and go easier than with my left hand? And you'll be like, huh, I'm moving my, I'm holding my left hand or have it more like this, and my right hand is more like that. You can adjust that way. So both hands are also teaching you how it works. So that's really important. Now, the next step that we are going to get into is the fulcrum point. Now, what is the fulcrum point? That's where the stick bounces the most. Just like if you have a basketball and you let it fall down, it goes from high and as it goes lower, it has more short bounces. So if you hold the drumstick, put it between the first two fingers like that. Now, if I lift up, you see this is too heavy and there is no movement. Now, if I hold it all the way to the back, back it's just not doing anything. Now, when I move it a bit more forward, there we go. More. This, this is what you're not looking for. Just have the stick rebounds over and over. And one tip, it's usually right there where the flag is. Around there, somewhere with the drumsticks, it's mostly where you have the most rebounds. So that's something where you wanna hold the drumstick. So as you hold the drumstick that way, you wanna adjust it to Like that. After you have all of this done, we're gonna start with a very simple exercises that's gonna get you comfortable with holding the stick, having that rebound and start making full strokes. So you have the full motion of the drumstick and you're getting like comfortable getting that control over the stick, letting the stick bounce, let the stick do the work for you and that exercise is just Again, making full strokes, and it's gonna look like this. Again, you wanna hold the sticks lightly, don't squeeze them like this. You can hear the difference. Now you get a nice sound. And you can just start really slow, put on a metronome, uh, I have it set at 60 BPM.
And that's basically the exercise. You can do that whenever you have the chance. Just sit for one minute, five minutes, ten minutes. Do it two times, two minutes. And just sit there and get comfortable with the rebounds of the sticks. If you like what I'm doing here, please support my channel by either donating or buying my drum merch. Both of the links are in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.